I literally need like. Okay, great. I told the office I needed to record something and ask them to be quiet. Yeah, this is this is what they're doing. Hey guys, quick note before we jump in. Uh, this is not a sports vlog, so do not panic. You are in the right place. I promise you will see. Fitzpatrick steps up, fires downfield, and it is. Oh, what a catch at the 38-yard line by Stevie Johnson. He goes up, the ball's behind him, snatches it out of the air with his right hand. As you mentioned, Murph, an outstanding reception by Stevie Johnson. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Dave with Amari Productions and today we are diving in to the wedding of Brittany and Steve. Uh, to be clear, this is not their highlight film. This is just a uh, musical interlude. Now, as I started to think through all of the reasons why we curated this film for you, all the different uh, threads that I wanted to touch on, I realized this intro vlog had a good chance of getting a little uh, unruly. So, enter the listicle. So here are the five reasons why you need to be getting hyped right now for this highlight film. Reason number one, their story. This is a vow renewal uh, because Brittany and Steve originally got married in 2007 uh, at a small courthouse wedding uh, in Kentucky where Steve was going to school. I think they had one witness that was like a coworker or something like that and they had no family, no friends present. So this vow renewal has been a long time coming. Reason number two, their kids. Remember, they've been married already for 12 years, so they're a full family. And the way that they involve their kids throughout the day, the way that their kids will show up throughout the film, uh, that in and of itself uh, is a bit of a tearjerker. Also, if a listicle is a list combined with an article, is this a listicle? A list video? A lidio? Oh, okay, that's loud. Okay, reason number three, this guy, backing up. One minute, 37 seconds later. Damn truck won't shut up. Get out of here. All right, reason number three, their details. You're gonna see their reception set up in the first couple seconds of the film and it is unreal. Reason number four, their song choice. Uh, you heard a bit of it in the intro, but it's just different than most of the songs we use. It's more orchestral, more sweeping, and it's just beautiful. Okay, and reason number five, their reception. Separate from the details, their actual reception events. They had the sweetest first dance. They had a secretly planned proposal during the bouquet toss, and then Brittany and all of her bridesmaids surprised Stevie with a bridesmaids dance, which we absolutely will be posting in its entirety on Sunday. All right, so there you have it, the five reasons why you absolutely need to be hyped for this film. The last thing I'll say before we jump in is stick around after for one bonus reason of why personally, this wedding really hit home for me. Without further ado, Brittany and Steve. Family and friends, on behalf of Steve and Brittany Johnson, I want to welcome you to this special occasion. We are gathered here today to celebrate 12 years of marriage and witness the vow renewal of Steve and Brittany Johnson. The Bible says, let your light so shine before people that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who's in heaven. Marriage is a good work, and it requires work. 
Marriage is not about feelings, it's about covenant. Two individuals investing the rest of their lives with each other. You and I, we go together like birds and the sky. From the moment that you caught my eye, knew that I was falling in love. Steve, who would have thought 16 years, three kids, three dogs, two fish, later that we'd be standing here reciting our vows. I remember when we first decided to get married. <laughs> We walked into Walmart. <laughs> we had 40 bucks to our name, and we was gonna buy our rings. And we got a deal that day. <laughs> Two rings for 10 bucks. I'm gonna give y'all this story. I was in Kentucky. Coach wasn't playing me my first game. I'm like, what's going on? Like, you put me in the last 40 seconds or something. I'm, I'm furious. I go to the back of the bus after the game, and I'm talking to my, I'm talking to Betty. I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm gone. And she kept it real with me. You go sit there and you go handle this. You go get through it, and then we go get better from it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, really? She said, nah, sit your butt down. <laughs> so, I mean, with that, what all goes to say, you know, if it wasn't for that. I probably wouldn't be in the position that, I, that I've been in to take care of this family and to have you guys all here. So I appreciate you and I'll continue to, you know, continue to work for you and um, promise to be yours forever. As a minister of the gospel, and through the power vested into me by the state of California, I now pronounce Steve and Brittany still husband and wife. You may now salute your bride. Okay, as promised, the bonus reason of why this wedding in particular was so impactful for me. Back around 2011, 12, 13, Stevie was one of my favorite wide receivers to watch in the NFL. At that very same time, we were starting Amari Productions. Specifically, in 2011, I was living at home with my mom and two of my three siblings in a two-bedroom apartment. Do the math, and that is a few too many bodies for that size apartment. But I was living at home, saving up so that we could start this company. And at that same time, I was watching Stevie, the human highlight reel, on Sunday mornings. I wish I could go back 
to 2011 and tell that Dave, sitting in that apartment with loose sheets of paper sketching out what Amari would look like, I wish I could tell that Dave that that guy that you're watching, that star, eight years from now, your company, this company that you're dreaming up right now, will film that man's wedding. It just, uh, I don't really have words. Just a uh, really cool moment. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> if you enjoyed today's film, please hit that subscribe button. Join us. If you're not already following us on Instagram, there will be a link in the description below, or you can just find us at Amari Productions. So until next time, my name is Dave with Amari Productions, and I need to get into the office and eat my breakfast. All right. See you guys later.